Hi guys, in this video we will have a look at firewall security policies using multiple interfaces a bit like global rules on a Cisco SA firewall so by default on a FortiGate firewall rules are done on a per single interface basis so what I mean by that you can have a single interface in the incoming direction and then you have a single interface in the outgoing direction in a single firewall policy rule you cannot have more than one interface so I've got a diagram just to explain things a bit better We've got a source network of 192.168.40 network and we've got a destination network of 192.168.50 network and we've got two routes so we can go via port 4 that's one route and we can go via port 5 that's another route and this is commonly used in uh, when we turn on dynamic routing protocol so we've got some route fail over here and the way we do this on a 40 gate firewall we would have to have two security policies to go from this network to this network so we would have one from port 3 to port 4 and another security policy from port 3 to port 5 I'll demonstrate this on the FortiGate web GUI how we do this so if we log in we go to uh, security profiles uh, sorry we go to um, policy and objects IPv4 policy and we click on create new here so if we create a security policy give it a subnet give it a, a rule name um, let's give it subnet x to subnet y via port 4 so we would create the first rule from port 3 to port 4 as per the diagram so incoming interface would be port 3 and if you notice here um, you cannot specify any other interface so if we specify port 3 here specify port 4 here we can't change or we can't add a new the interfaces it just changes it so go with port 4 I've already created my subnets in here so source subnet 192.168.40 destination subnet 192.168.50 here uh, let's give it a service of all and let's uh, click OK to uh, create the rule so we can see the rule from port 3 to port 4 created here if we click on the rule, right click it, copy it to make it a quicker process, paste it below and then we've got a new rule here and we just need to change the port now because everything else is the same it's uh, from port 3 the source subnet and destination subnet is the same we just want to change it from port 3 to port 5 this time um, so click on port 4, change it to port 5 and give it a name as well, subnet x to subnet y via port 5 click ok and we can see uh, our two newly created rules um, when you copy and paste it it's uh, disabled by default so we need to set status and enable it from here so it's enabled now um, the other thing you can do is you can view it by sequence as well uh, this way you can see the order that the FortiGate appliance processes the rules in so this is the order and we can change the order by uh, dragging it like this so you can drag the rules up and down like this anyway so if we go back to interface pair the whole point of this is we've got two rules one from port 3 to port 4 one from port 3 to port 5 and uh, to save on creating firewall rules we can um, turn on a feature so if we go to system we go to feature visibility you can see all the features in here by the way that the FortiGate supports uh, the features that are turned either on or off you can check them all here so lots of hidden features you may need um, and one of them in particular that I'm looking for is multiple interface policies and you can read about it as well by clicking the plus sign here and to enable it just click on here click apply and it should be enabled now so if we go back to policy and objects we go to IPv4 policy and this time if we click on create new we give it a name uh, subnet x to subnet y via port 4 underscore 5 so this time we're going to try and give it both ports uh, we've enabled it so it should work uh, let's give it port 3 as our source here and our destination is port 4 and 5 so click on outgoing and click 
click on port 4 and click on port 5 so here we can see that it will accept uh, multiple ports again same for source and destination click on uh, the source subnet and then the destination subnet and service as all I've just put in port 8 there just uh, to give you an example it would uh, support multiple interfaces even more than two I'm not sure what the maximum limit is um, but yeah I mean so what we can see here is we've got two rules here we had to create we can delete them now because we've got the one rule that covers both of them so delete that delete that the only thing uh, to bear in mind is probably uh, anti-spoofing uh, which is probably um, good to speak about on another video so that's it for this video we've created our single rule uh, you can see we've used uh, multiple interfaces to create a, a single rule as opposed to creating multiple rules for the same source and destination submits thanks for watching